Hey everybody, welcome to Geek Savannah Live. I hope you're all doing extremely well today. Starting off the week uh, with a, a, a live stream and a leak one at that, which is always very, very exciting. Thank you all for joining me. I really, really do appreciate it. In today's update, we're going to be taking a look at the launch announcement, announcement this week by DJI, specifically the release announced for Wednesday, the 2nd of August, which of course has been uh, titled as the Time to Shine Um with this particular picture out the the picture clearly matches up with an action camera of course which it's showing a lens and the camera partially buried in the sand there let's hope they have a dji care refresh shall we it's almost a dji care refresh advert in the making there so we've had the usual avalanche of leaks or that this type of announcement is usually preceded by and today we're going to be taking a look at those and asking who will be buying this camera Will this action camera appeal to the FPV flyers out there? I didn't really hear as much of a buzz about the Osmo 3 that perhaps the Osmo 2, I think, was a little bit more popular um, with the FPV crowd. So I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest with you, but it'd be interesting to see. We're also going to take a look at what appears to be a watch controller, which has been leaked recently online. So that's certainly an interesting one. First up, if you're watching this video and you're among the 54% of people who are watching who are not subscribed, well, first, hi, it's great to meet new people all the time. But please do hit the subscribe button to get more updates like this and the latest drone content. You'll then become one of our awesome regulars who hopefully just like the last video, take the opportunity to help boost our content by hitting the like button nice and early. Thank you everyone for doing that. Those of you who do, of course. I promise that is the YouTube a bit out of the way today um, and we'll we'll get on with the content. Now, if you are watching live, do let me know your thoughts in the live chat. I can see you all in there. Thank you for joining me. And we'll come back to that and have a chat about how you're feeling about this camera uh, once we've covered the main story. If you're watching the replay, let me know in the comments if you're going to buy the action for and if so or not, why? Uh, it would be very interesting to find out because, as I say, I'm, I, it, it's, it, it's going to be interesting to see where this actual camera does come into things. So, first of all, we have some pretty, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to talk down a launch, as it were, but pretty tame looking pictures of the action camera itself. It uses the same form factor as the Osmo 1 and the 3, sadly, leaving behind my personal favorite form factor of the Action 2, which I still really like that design, but Again, I do understand it obviously created more issues um, than it solved and, of course, therefore had to go. Now, shout out to Igor from um, the uh, uh, Quadro News Channel for all of his hard work finding the nuggets of this release so quickly, uh, especially so quickly after the Air 3 launch as well. Now, he's also re released some spec tile lists, essentially, and looking at them, the first one actually tells us quite a few interesting bits of information. Firstly, there's what DJI calling an extreme battery. So that is a particularly long lasting battery or perhaps has some other performance enhancement. We'll find that out um, when we see the box of the, uh, the camera later on. Also in the list is the horizontal vertical protective frame. This is pictured here um, and again shows that DJI are once again thinking of vertical video content producers with this type of camera. And I think that starts to give us an indication of the type of um, uh, consumer, the type of end user uh, that they're probably looking at for this as well. Then the rest of this spec list is exactly what you would probably expect to find. This is obviously a bundle, which is one of the larger bundles uh, with all the bits and pieces that you're going to find in there. The, the second list gives uh, details such as the weight, which is at 145 grams. It states that the Action 4 is actually waterproof to 18 meters without the waterproof case and 60 meters with the case there are three microphones and as we've become accustomed to there are two touch screens one on the front one on the back and the camera will support micro sd cards up to 512 gigabytes the third list tells us that there will be a, as we would expect obviously with the air 3 just being out a one over 1 1.3 inch cmos sensor clearly the same sensor as now released in the Air 3 drone that I've just mentioned. The field of view will be 155 degrees with an aperture of f2.8. So a lot of the video specs here again are what you would expect to see really. The fourth tile gives us the resolutions. The highlights there include the 4K at 120 frames per second, which of course will give us slow motion. Uh, there's hyperlapse, time lapse, etc., and everything that you would really expect from a DJI camera with Rocksteady 3.0 and Horizon balancing available as well. 
the other tile uh, from Igor tells us the, the photo format will be JPEG RAW. The camera will have no onboard memory, but obviously as before, we'll be able to work up to a 512 gigabytes SD card. It uses a 1S 1717mAh battery and has a stated operating time of 160 minutes. But as usual, that will obviously be the maximum at a lower resolution and that type of thing, basically. So it's a fairly decent spec and we expect to see some more of the algorithmic technology used in the Air 3 to maximize the, safer, the, the sensor capability. So it's going to be interesting to see the first reviews on this particular camera. Now, this particular picture of the box actually highlights some of the facts that DJI want you to focus on, including, of course, the sensor, the 10-bit color and D-Log M, the deep freeze resistant and long lasting battery. That means I'm certainly going to be looking forward to Jake Sloan's extreme Alaska tests of this camera uh, to see just how extreme that can be. Uh, the highlights of, um, in, in, in the real world, of course, the highlights of resolution, dual touch screens again, and the confirmation of that native vertical video, which seems to be so important in the lower end consumer products that DJI have uh, these days. And up next, we've actually got something very interesting, which is pictures of a controller watch, basically. Um, now, OG DJI fans will remember lots of leaks over the years of what seemed to be a controller watch, although that looked a, more, a lot more complex than this particular device, shall we say. This looks to be a simple Bluetooth control, but this has, um, but as this is obviously an action camera, let me just bring up a couple of really close up shots there. Um, this is obviously a simple Bluetooth control. Obviously, with action cameras, it feels like something potentially very useful, though. Many of us control our action cameras via an app on our phone, and the ability to quickly access key controls, I think, would be very useful without having to risk your phone. And as you can see on the zoomed-in picture there, um, you've got very, very simple buttons on the front and round the sides, etc. cetera. Um, and yeah, it, it's got the little uh, notification light that we're used to seeing on DJI products on the top left. Uh, which will obviously show that it's recording and uh, a, a simple control screen to show us what's actually happening. So it's going to be interesting to see how easy uh, to use that particular one is. Now, the last uh, a couple of leak pictures show the combo boxes, um, which is obviously interesting to see. The adventure combo, which was, of course, uh, the spec list from here. That's everything you're going to be getting in that particular combo, uh, which, again, is, is a decent amount of kit, frankly, with lots of different accessories. Uh, but then we also have what I flashed up quickly earlier on, this vertical holder, um, which also looks to have some quick access controls on there as well, especially at the top there looks like to have a, 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 a quick record button. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see it isn't it when in terms of having it actually clicked onto your uh, vest or or, or um, um, any kind of sort of lanyard and that type of thing so overall it looks like a release which is going to be focused in my opinion on the software and the many tricks the camera will no doubt be capable of whether or not it has the capability and the quality to go head to head with the gopro release that's coming up and if it has enough going on to get people buying it, it's going to be an interesting one to see. Very rarely does DJI come out with a product that it doesn't have a natural audience for. So it's going to be interesting to see in terms of the marketing, actually how they stack this up. So let's hop across to the chat and see what people are saying on this one. Again, thank you all very much for joining us. Uh, um, Surly Dev is saying, I got the Action 2 the other day, very impressed with it. I uh, stuck it on the bonnet of the car and went for a drive uh, with it recording in hyperlapse mode. I'm impressed with the stabilization. I did see that in um, our Discord, actually, uh, Dev. So, yes, um, interesting. And the Action 2, once they'd sorted out the overheating issue in terms of here in the EU not being able to use it with the higher heat setting, they, they came out with a, uh, what was a free uh, plastic cover for people um, um, in the EU area in, and here in the UK at that time, uh, which sorted that problem out completely. And once that was sorted, it really was a very decent um, um, little little device, basically. Um, and Surly Dev is again saying, Sean, um, you should just sit there staring at the camera until the number of likes reaches the number of viewers. <laughs> Yeah, no, we don't we don't do that kind of thing, but uh, very funny. Um, 
And Trevor Fuss saying, I'm going to wait and see what problem it gets released with. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. The, the last few have had have had focus issues and overheating and different bits and pieces, haven't they? So it's going to be an interesting one uh, to see. I don't see the buzz. Obviously, it's a very quick re announcement to release as well. I don't see necessarily the wide buzz that we see with some of the other products. Uh, but of course, it isn't a main drone product um, that, that's particularly um, we, we would be excited on on this channel. Uh, Matty's drone will makes a good point. Uh, 4K 120 frames why didn't they do 120 frames on the air 3 hmm yeah no it's a, a really good point matty and i think it's it's something which i think will um it, it perhaps will come in time i'm not sure on that one actually i know they do like to hold some spec back sometimes um and then throw it out at us um, and jonathan jackson saying 180 uh, sorry 1080 at 200 frames which is uh, that's, that's pretty decent frankly uh, and um, uh, Daz Wellings wondering if the back screen is the same size as the Action 3. I believe it is. I think it's uh, the front one that's very, very slightly larger, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Producer Will is saying that he, it sounds awesome, but he'd worried that it would fall off the car. You have to be brave with tech, uh, Producer Will. Um, but uh, if, you, if you look on our Discord channel, actually, Producer Will, you actually see um, uh, Surely Dev's um, uh, videos from it. It actually looked really good. And KPV, hi, good to see you. Um, one, again, one of our Discord members, actually. They need to get the dynamic range as good as the Hero 11 for the professionals to get on board. Yeah, I, I, I don't really feel like it's, it's something that is um, a product that I think is going to particularly worry, really, what I would say are main action camera marketplaces, frankly, and, and, and necessarily interest them. So it's going to be really, really interesting once I, because I, I will be getting one of these, because I, I do like to get these action cameras and have a little play with them. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see how the FPV community adapt to it, if there's any kind of use from that point of view. 145 grams, I mean, you know, is there going to be a naked version which could, um, which, which could be a lot lighter and therefore more practical? But again, as KPV is saying, it will need to have the... Um, uh, the specs to compete and john burns quite rightly saying these leaks are deliberately marketing ploy by dji yeah absolutely i mean as, as much as they insist and i don't think all of them are uh, as much as they insist that it isn't i think absolutely 100 percent um that, that has to be part of that basically and kpv also saying i'm sure it'll be priced at a pro level yeah you can 110 percent guarantee that can't you so again, the DJI Osmo Action 4 will be releasing um, this Wednesday, the 2nd of August. For me, it will need to show me something different at launch than these leaked specs tell me. But as ever with DJI, I remain open to be convinced. Coming up on Geeksvana, we have a live show tomorrow evening discussing new legislation coming to the UK, which will have an impact on drone pilots, every drone pilot, whether you're recreational or professional, and every single type of uh, drone flyer from FPV to camera drone um, and RC in between. So it is an important one. So join me at 8 p.m. UK uh, to pick apart what's been happening and establish a few of the facts. There'll be a link going live on that very, very soon. So that'll be 8 p.m. tomorrow. And that's it for the Action 4. And I will see you next time on Geeks Final Live. Sean out. Thanks, everyone.